excited about this. It's going to help another levels. More builds, more setups, more cars. Really excited. Been waiting a long time for this. series able to hold 3500 horsepower Probably have to do is probably have to tilt it, bring it closer, go back underneath it, and bring it closer again. Is that the furthest it tilts back? You gotta be careful because this one's on the on the on the rolling wheel. So to see, you're good. Yeah. You're good. Just gotta be careful. Slow, slow. All right, I will go down.
Yeah, you could drop it right next to it, just like how it is, like like just like that. And just bring it in, bring it in a little bit more. Slowly, 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 slowly. Right there is fine. Is there um? Trying to see if there's any room to turn it. Just to like angle it a little bit different. So guys, it's all in the shop now. It's ready set up. Got the hubs. I got the all-wheel drive dyno there. So, you know, so my level of tuning, I can stay versatile with whatever I want to touch, whatever I want to do. There's a lot of cars that turn away because I don't have the right equipment. Just because I have an all-wheel drive dyno or anything like that does not mean I'm gonna to try to put a high horsepower car on there. So. Beforehand, I didn't have the equipment um, to put down most customers' cars' power, so I will always, you know, pass it off to someone else or something like that. But now, you know, after time and time of saving and saving and working my butt off, like I finally saved up enough to get my own dyno, my own hubs. I was actually supposed to have hubs before my all-wheel drive dyno, but then the evil market just took off like wildfire so i actually went with the all-wheel drive over the hubs um and that helped me get to where i am today but now i'm back of my original goal and vision was to get the hubs so you know i had to backtrack to get uh two or three steps forward but i'm completely happy with it you know it's it i really didn't think it was going to be this big of a dyno because my shop is only uh so much space but um, I'm gonna make it do. I'm gonna set it up. You know, it's 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 pretty big. Shout out to Reaper from Street Outlaws. I got this hub hub dyno from him, so I'm very uh, appreciative for that. You know, I saw how he had it, what he used it with, and I know a couple cars he had. He exceeded the limit of what these could put out. Um, this is a 3500 series, so they're good up to 3500. But then again, you know, even if I get cars at that level, or if I get people who want to rent it out at that level, I'm not gonna have these have these hubs running at its maximum potential. So a lot of people have the bigger hubs, the the set the the 7000 horsepower uh, pro pro style. But for what I'm working with and what I want to do, these would these would work just fine just fine and as you can see like how i rolled it from shop to shop it wasn't heavy They're, they are heavy if it didn't have wheels but there's wheels on them so they roll around pretty pretty smoothly so i'm pretty happy with it i'm pretty excited to actually uh use it for the first time because like i said i've been wanting this before i even had my all-wheel drive dyno you got the light for nighttime tuning or setting up I have I have two different style um, five five lug adapters. I also have a four lug adapters for like any high horsepower Hondas or any high horsepower uh, 
four lugs. I have six lugs adapters getting actually being made right now for trucks and also six lug for a uh, Dodge Viper pattern. So just whatever whatever style I need to use these for, whatever vehicle I need to use these for, the 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 hubs adapters is not going to limit me. So I'm going to have all the size, all the sizes, all the patterns. So that's a good thing right there. Some people only have the four lugs. Some people only have the five lugs. I'm trying to have all the lugs. Because sometimes when you're tuning, you just never know what's going to walk through the door. But I'm happy. I'm happy. This is going to be uh, pretty exciting, you know. So a lot of y'all that follow us on our YouTube channel, just stay, uh, stay posted, stay tuned because I'm gonna be bringing even more content, better content, um, spicier content. You know, I'm just trying to provide good quality service to everybody. Be here for whatever level of tuning or support I can give to my customer base or whoever wants to tune their car, whoever wants to work. So just, I'm just happy and blessed to be where I'm at right now. We do all kind of engine management, Holly, stock computers, AEM, Hall Tech, Fuel Tech, uh, Mega Squirt, you know, a lot of computers. We stay, we stay versatile on a lot of stuff. So whatever you want to get tuned on, whether it's all wheel drive needed, whether it's dyno hub needed, whether it's 300 horsepower, whether it's up to 2000 horsepower, you know, uh, I'm going to provide it. I want to give you the best that I can could, I could give you. And you know, we're just here to, to give you what you need and serve the car and to make customers and make individuals, make cars, make builds run a lot cleaner, run a lot faster, and just to make everybody happy out there to able to enjoy their projects, their builds. So everybody stay tuned. So I already opened up one package. Uh, these are for my, uh, my hub adapters for the dyno. So I have these two, I have another one being made and these would bolt to the vehicle itself and then from once this is on the vehicle then i'll slide it i'll slide the dyno onto the onto the onto the onto the car and bolt right up on there so it gives it a nice clean tight fitment so it's not slop, not sloppy or anything like that and then they just press right on there and then you get your hardwares and it'll bolt up from hole to hole and it just spins the rollers. So I'll be able to simulate, you know, if I want to simulate, like you're gonna do a drag run. I could go, I could launch the car from first gear and rip it all the way to fourth or fifth gear and see what it makes on, on the logs for boost, timing, what was the miles per hour, you know, and kind of simulate just like you're about to do a drag run at the track, but it's actually in, a control environment and um, kind of iron out the bugs before hitting the track. Because sometimes you go to the track, you waste a bunch of time, and and you're in, and you or sometimes you make a one pass, or the rain comes, or someone has to spill on the track with oil. This way, I'm able to actually hit it on the on the rollers, you know, first gear, and ramp it all the way straight through, and see what it does, and iron out all the the bugs ahead of time before hitting the track. And then when you hit the track, then it'd be a little bit easier dialing it all in, but. But yeah, so that was for the box for the adapters. Came with all my hardware, so I could uh, bolt it up. They hooked it up with a with a shirt. I guess they gave me two shirts. They gave me a banner in the other box. This box is all my hardware, so I'll have all my handheld controllers, everything. So I have a computer for my all-wheel drive dyno, but I'm not going to be using the same computer. So I'm just gonna just buy a whole brand new computer and have it separate. So I'm gonna have two computers. One is gonna be designated for my for my hubs. One's gonna be designated for the all-wheel drive. And then this way, I don't have to have anything, any mix-up or anything, trying to share the same software and stuff like that. So, but yeah, it comes with everything again, handheld plug it all up it's all the same stuff like just like my just like my all-wheel drive dyno so i already know how to work out work all this stuff our pin box for my y-band 
you know so just uh gonna hook it all up and try to get a vehicle get it rolling get tested start dialing it in and getting it all set up you know so i'm just happy for where i'm at and i'm just happy those who work with me those who believe in me and those who actually just 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 appreciate good work from a hard working individual because that's all i do is just just i just work 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 to provide good service to everybody you know for my family and just for myself you know i'm just somebody who had a, dreams of this one day and and not only did i dream and pray for it but like literally day in day out i worked my butt off to have what i have and be where i'm at you know i don't get messed up in the drama just keep my head down keep working if people talk bad just keep my head down keep working if people talk smart keep my head down keep working you know um i'm there for all my customers regardless sometimes i get customers that have um pro problematic cars I'm there for it. Sometimes I get customers that's really smooth, cool. But then, you know, I, I just want to just provide and work. Just work and just do what I love on the regular. And that's all that matters to me, you know, just being a, a good individual, a positive individual, good mentality, good energy, good skills, good talent. And that's it, you know. So we got a lot, a lot to come. It's going to be happening this year. So this year is going to be a great year, amazing year. Last year was a great year, but I can't wait to see what uh, what we get to use on those over there. Because I use this dyno a lot. Like every single day, this dyno takes a lot. You know, as you can see, it's dirty. People's oil spills, people's coolant leaks, people wastegate, wastegate dump. Like, but I try to keep everything nice and clean, you know. I don't think I ever showed anybody my shop on the channel. So what? I keep it, you know, nice and clean. I'm from New York, so of course I had to have New York up on there. So I appreciate the guy who actually made that for me. He did that and he also did the one on the wall, so. This is Desmond from Performance Destination. Just wanted to introduce myself. Um, based in Orlando, Florida, we uh, have all wheel drive facility hub dynos, um, we specialize in many computer systems, standalone stock ECUs, uh, a lot of all-wheel drive stuff, front-wheel drive stuff, now also catered to the higher power rear-wheel drive stuff. If you ever in the need to get your car tuned, um, get your car dialed in, get your car testing, you wanna test it before running to the track, you wanna test it before a street event, race event, whatever you need to do, we're here to help serve y'all and make sure your car is running in optimal performance condition and just reach out to us. Phone number is 941-268-7493. And this is Desmond Peter from Performance Destination. Looking forward to working with y'all.